October 16. A little bit of sad news if you watched the vlog from yesterday, which I don't know when that came out, but probably a couple days ago at least. Um, our chicken, our beloved favorite chicken out of our four chickens we have here in town, she passed away last night. And she was Sophie's favorite chicken and um, we were basically trying everything we could last night like yesterday afternoon and evening today's sophie's birthday so she woke up um, and had to receive that sad news which was hard we had had her say goodbye to bubbles basically already yesterday so i'm really glad she got to hold her and stuff like that but bubbles was not doing well and we don't fully know what was going on and that's how it goes sometimes with animals so we are actually going to bury bubbles this morning we're gonna bury her at my in-laws farm. Um, I am kind of bummed that we are skipping Bible study to do so, but I fully understand because it's the only time that Bjorn is available today and we do need to bury bubbles and get, you know, all of that taken care of, get some closure that way. We can't just delay that kind of thing. So we are not going to Bible study today. It is Sophie's birthday, so she had some fun Lucky Charms cereal for a special treat this morning. We don't usually get that kind of fun cereal, so that was fun for her. She opened up a couple gifts from me. She really loved her little Barbie totes. It's like little zip-up pouches she can store Barbies in that I got for her, and then I got her a like a personalized Etsy drawstring bag for her dance shoes. So she was happy about that. She took the news about Bubbles quite well. We were all sad um, for a little while this morning and then she's moved on a bit, but I think we'll revisit those feelings and, and that's healthy to do so when we kind of have a little funeral for Bubbles today. So kind of a not ideal start to Sophie's birthday in a lot of ways, but it's been a sweet day still already. And I've got a roast that I just got in the crock pot this morning and I also started some sourdough cranberry pecan harvest buns, I think they're called, harvest buns. And those will be going along with supper tonight. And now I just have to make a cake this afternoon. We'll kind of have to see how school time can be fit into this morning or if it has to be pushed to afternoon or evening. And that's the, the flexibility and the joy of being able to homeschool is we can fit things in um, in a way that syncs up really well with our family's lifestyle and our schedule and the needs that that arise like a chicken funeral today it's pretty cold outside too so we're gonna wait a little bit um before we go and bury her i'm really sad actually more sad than i thought i would be but i'm gonna have um sophie's grandma and her grandpa over tonight for um, supper for the roast and cake it's actually also uh, my father-in-law's birthday today so uh, he and Sophie share a birthday and so I thought it would be fun if we um, wanted to all get together of course and have a nice meal so hopefully today it's a gorgeous day it's just chilly a little bit of sadness this morning um, but hopefully we can turn it around we don't really have I mean it's okay to be sad but hopefully we can have a lot of sweet moments today sweet celebration moments as well what Sophie got for her birthday at her party. <laughs> can't believe you're seven. I can't believe you. Some quality time with Pebbles this morning. She found some green bits that she likes. Oh. 
Svea is trying out her new winter coat. It's kind of poofy on the bottom. It's really cute though. So pretty, Sophie. Hey guys, it's about, it's almost 2 p.m. on Wednesday. We buried Bubbles this morning, which was like, Sophie was sad on the drive over. And um, we buried her and then we went to McDonald's for lunch and the kids played in the play place. So that cheered everyone up quite a bit. And now we're back home and I, now we've got all sorts of things to do. I would say that making a cake is probably first priority but also I need to tidy up too so I'm gonna get going on that this is kind of misleading because I'm not planning on sitting here on the couch I just wanted to sit down to say hi but I'm going to put my earbuds in I'm going to listen to a podcast and see how fast I can kind of get my act together and we'll either do school during a quiet time like the latter half of quiet time or night school or Saturday school because we are not opposed to doing school on Saturdays too. Okay first of all I should fix my hair because it's very wind wind swept or whatever. It had big poofy curls this morning which was kind of fun but the wind kind of did away with that. Anyway whatever. I wanted to show you my fall decor and I have approximately three fall decorations at this point of my life. <laughs> I actually also have, that I'm not showing you, these cute like straw, made out of like thick straw, what is it, like rope almost, um, neutral colored like pumpkins. I have those and some are made out of like a white cloth this color and they're in the garage. I like them but what happens with young children is they get used for maybe it's fine but they get used every day and tossed and kicked around all over and I have like maybe 10 of them and I remember last fall getting tired of them getting kicked around so maybe I'll bring them out maybe I won't but I'll show you the three items that I'm using to decorate for fall today so this is like the most simple fall decor haul ever so this right here is from Kirkland's if you've I hadn't heard of Kirkland's a couple years ago and it turns out it's a really great um, home decor store. So Kirkland's, Kirk, it's like spelled Kirk, K-I-R-K, land. Kirkland's home and you can buy these things online although they do have like in-person brick and mortar stores. But it is the cutest little frame, see this? It stands up, I think it does, this is getting a little, you know, wobbly. But it's a little pumpkin frame and was it, it was two years ago then that I put this little picture. This was our announcement picture for our pregnancy with Svea. It says a new little pumpkin is joining our patch March 2023. So we took pictures of, I'm trying not to get a reflection. We took pictures of Sophie and Soren holding a pumpkin and then another pumpkin here. How funny to think that Svea used to not be in our family, you know? And same with Soren, same with Sophie. It's amazing where time goes. So I like to prop this one up, usually somewhere in the kitchen. I might do, live, do it in the living room this year just because I feel like the kitchen is getting kind of busy visually. And then I've got this blanket. Where is it from? Is this also from Kirkland's? I think this is also from Kirkland's, possibly Home Goods, but I think Kirkland's. It's a brand called, no, I know, sorry. It's from Amazon. I think this is from Amazon. Anyway, I will link it down below if I can find it. It's a Harvest, it's called Harvest Moon brand. And let me show you the pattern on this. Look how pretty this blanket is. It's 
Isn't that so pretty? It has, I mean, you can see, it has pumpkins, some fall leaves. That's about it. Maybe some like pine cones or acorns and stuff. So it looks like this on the back. You can kind of see the, the hem here. So it's a little lighter on the back. It's not really the side you display. And then it's just a large, like a very large fuzzy fleece like throw blanket. That was a tongue twister. But I love this one so much. It's like fall enough without decorating with way too much bright neon orange, you know? So very lovely neutral way to decorate for fall. I love blankets and Bjorn knows I love blankets. I always have them all around, but they do get reached for every day. And then I have this one. These I'm going to rewash, but they were in my Christmas. Like I have holiday tubs for decor in the basement. I'm trying to find a um, tag on this one. Anyway, I think this was also from Amazon, now that I think about it. I will link it down below too, because I think I've linked it in a past video. But this one is fuzzy on the back. Maybe you can see the texture a little bit. It's fuzzy on the back, and this is like one of those burnt orange or like just really rich um, orange colors. Maybe you can tell. It's not my color. I've had my colors done this summer. I'm not supposed to wear this color. <laughs> But anyway, this is really cozy. That's maybe a little smaller than the other one, but still big. And so I think the kids will be delighted uh, when they see these. So I'll get them washed up. I don't have anything in the uh, wash right now, so I'm going to just throw those two blankets in, maybe a few more towels with them or something. So I thought I'd show you that very small fall decor haul. Sorry, the dehydrator is getting so loud. I think it's getting a little bit tired. It's new, but I think it's getting a little tired. Um, but I think it's fine. We were just checking on it, but I put I don't know if I'll keep this um, Decor right here. I have a feeling Svea will want to look at it a lot, but the living room is all tidy and Now I can focus on either baking a cake or editing a video for a few more minutes Quiet times actually done in like 10 minutes Sophie watch a show while well, the other kids do for her birthday and these are those cranberry pecan harvest buns they're sourdough and they are amazing they are in this um, cookbook I would almost recommend getting this cookbook just for that recipe alone and the English muffins recipe that are in here so we are going to let these rise for an hour and now it's time for me to work on the cake Okay, this is a cake called Pig Pickin' Cake. So here's the recipe, maybe you can screenshot it. I loved this one as a kid so, so much, and I would request it for my birthday. So maybe you saw in the recipe there, but there are mandarin oranges mixed together with like oil and eggs and a yellow cake mix. And then the frosting is Cool Whip, and pudding mix and milk and crushed pineapple. So that is super fun. It's like a light and kind of, I don't know, just envision like pineapple, Cool Whip, yellow cake mix. It smells like yellow cake mix and vanilla pudding and mandarin oranges all together. It is so good and hopefully Sophie likes it. I thought it would be fun to do one that I liked when I was a kid.
I always look tired at the end of the day because I am so tired at the end of these full days. I can't even make my hair look acceptable right now. I gotta get it back up. Um, it is actually 10 p.m. on Wednesday and it has been a very long day. Um, it started off with me getting up early to make sure I could be the first one to see our pet chicken in case she did pass away overnight and she did. And then all of that happened. And then we buried Bubbles today. Lunch was at McDonald's, quiet time and nap time sped by. Um, Sophie enjoyed some fun aspects of her birthday for sure. I think she did feel loved today and had a special day, which is wonderful. And she said her favorite part was the Lucky Charms cereal for breakfast, which is funny. And then I made a really nice supper. I had pot roast those harvest cranberry buns and a salad and I made a cake. Everyone loved that cake so that's really fun. That pig picking cake it's called. I think they call it that because it's for like a, a pig picking which must mean some sort of a barbecue or something. It's an older recipe. So anyway that was a huge hit. Bjorn is home from a another candidate forum or a meeting. I tell the kids he's at a meeting sometimes because they don't understand what a candidate forum is. But um, he had that tonight at a t in a town an hour away and that went well and he's back now and I'm so tired I can hardly just like keep my eyes open. Oh, but the nice supper that I made, um, it, it's my father-in-law's birthday too so we invited him over and we invited my mother-in-law over as well and so everyone had a wonderful supper together. I thought that was fun to get some family time in even though Bjorn was technically, he was actually gone for dinner. But it was a nice, it was just nice family time and Sophie spent a lot of time on the couch just reading with grandpa tonight and the kids played games with grandma too and it was really good. It is very much so time for me to go to bed. Tomorrow is Thursday and we'll just hopefully have a more low-key day. I would love to have a a very peaceful day in which we get like I can do the housework, I could you know maybe edit my next YouTube video, just everything predictable and quiet. I would really love that. I'm kind of praying for that tomorrow. I just need such a low-key day. It's not all about me but I think we could all really use just nothing out of the blue tomorrow but we'll take everything as it comes and I hope it was fun for you to come along with us today. I know that a lot of the aspects of today were sad but it was also fun preparing this meal for Sophie's birthday and celebrating her. So I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you're at when you're watching this and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys! Yesterday there was sun and there was rain